part two. Curtis, make a part two. We need to get a part two. Yeah, make a part two. We want part two. Where's the part two? Make a part two. All right, I've heard you moaning like useless carcasses for long enough. It's here. Part two. Part two D two. Oh, you suck. What? Come on. So, guys, I'm sure you'd be proud to hear that Colleen Ballinger is the biggest coward on the internet. She hasn't even responded yet. And the hilarious thing is, in her response video last year, where she was moaning on like a useless, pathetic carcass, she said this. Words hurt people. It's not the kind of criticism I've been used to for the last decade. Okay, Colleen, so when you're receiving certain threats and, you know, being technically bullied and ripped apart on the internet, it's, you know, it's gone too far. But as soon as it happens to Adam McIntyre for talking about a situation, you don't say anything. Yeah. Clever clogs, that's what you are. Really? That's that's the best thing I could come up with? That's right, everyone. In Adam's recent video, titled A Police Report Has Been Made, he talks about how Colleen Ballinger's fans have literally been threatening him, threatening to dox him, literally saying that they're going to, you know, do something bad to a, to their pets. They're going to unalive his pets, which, you know what, right? <laughs> how about you go and f*** yourselves? How about that? You like that? Like, this whole situation has gone way too far, and I gotta give props to Adam. You know, he is mentally resilient. And here's the thing, I completely understand that on the internet, it might seem like he's okay, um, apart from the video where he said, I'm sad. I mean, that's you know, self-explanatory. But what is probably going on in his mind is a lot different to what's going on on the internet, and we all have to be there for him, because Colin Ballinger sucks. Yeah. You f suck. How about that? So, getting into the situation, Adam has released one... Two, f five videos since my last upload. We're gonna go in chronological order and we're gonna see what Adam had to say about the situation. As I said, everyone needs to support Adam. Fuck Colleen Ballinger and fuck the fans. Let's take a, take a look. And people wanna call me a clip goblin right now. People wanna call me uh, doing this for entertainment, doing this for whatever. And I'm here every single night fucking struggling to sleep because I'm so fucking humiliated and embarrassed by what's been put online by someone else who isn't even me, who started all of this, who has just made it that I'm like living on edge the past couple of things and it's like- As Adam just explained, people are accusing him of milking the situation. And uh, you know what? He didn't actually start all this. You know who actually started all this? Cody Rants. You remember the freak, the creature I was talking about in the last video? The one that took themselves off the internet? Yeah, they started all this by, you know, leaking information about the situation and things that Adam wasn't even prepared to talk about yet. Cody Rants, what sort of name is that anyway? Do you make ranting videos about people? How about you come on this channel and rant about me? Oh wait, I forgot. You deplatformed yourself. The coward's way out. It's time for that crisp high five. <laughs> all right. I get texts from Hage being like, hey, Cody sent me their messages with Colleen and actually, Cody is lying. Cody messaged Colleen Ballinger and said, you need to address Adam McIntyre's video. And Cody pushed Colleen to respond. So Colleen responds to Cody and goes, basically, I'm not going to address it out of the wishes of the parents. That bullshit long message. I, you know, blah, 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 I'm not going to get involved with a minor, all this bullshit. And then Cody goes, basically along the lines of, I'm going to paint the video to make him look bad. I'm going to paint him as the villain. I'm going to blah, 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 blah. All this stuff, right? That is basically along the lines of Cody is going to manipulate the narrative to take me. Wow. Cody Rance was lying? Really? I never expected that. He messaged me so I would do her dirty work for her and try to get me on her side. And it worked sadly. Now, I believe the reason that she DM'd me was so I would make this video. I would make a video that would defend her. And it worked. And that's sad. I was so excited when she messaged me. I was like, oh my gosh, she's confiding in me. So apparently Cody said... I'll make the video, um, and I'll we'll switch up the narrative to make Adam look bad. What sort of person does that? Adam's already gone through enough. Why are you like just inserting your fat ass anywhere you want? You know what I mean? Like, go fuck yourself. <laughs> Twat. <laughs> oh, I'm such a bully. But you know what? Kiss my ass. <laughs> And as I mentioned, we're obviously going to be talking about the police report that's been made, um, where, you know, Colleen Ballinger's fans are saying some really terrible stuff. We'll talk about that in a little bit, but first of all, I want to touch on the fact that other people have now spoken about uh, the Weenies group chat. Weenies. Definitely sounds like a paedophile group, 100%. Calling a group of children Weenies. Don't know what that means, it's, it's, it's Weenies. Willies, basically. Bit of trivia for you. Basically calling a bunch of children cocks. And in this video, he got two girls that were basically in the group chat. Um, they are a little bit older than Adam. I'm pretty sure Adam's 20 years old. Um, and I think one of them were 21 and the other one was 22. 
so a little bit older. And they actually give their experiences about what happened in the group chat. Uh, and what was said basically, and they said some really interesting stuff. One of the things they said was how Colin Ballinger used to trauma dump on everyone. Can't you just let children be children? Why do you have to include them in your adult divorce? <laughs> you fucking suck. I mean, why not talk to any of your friends? Well, I suppose all of your friends are children, so kind of makes sense now. Tell you what, right, since Trisha Paytas has cut ties with you and your podcast has ended, why don't you start a podcast with Shane Dawson and James Charles? That'd be the perfect trio, wouldn't it? The perfect triangle. I mean, you could call your podcast something like, I don't know, like the Kitty Fiddlers or Grooming Comes Three or something. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. If they had a podcast, what should they call now, it? Another thing Adam touched on is how the conversations that they would have would be very sexually charged. Just fucking like, what is this? Like, what is going on? I mean, that's, I've got to be in simulation. In terms of like all of the DMs that have been coming out of like, the like sexual jokes and stuff and a lot of them have kind of resolved around revolved around me and stuff like that she would actively come in and start the conversation like this was not like ever us being like oh the only one was me saying about the ass and then she goes you know picks adam whatever but there were so many that she actively started because she had this like weird sexual like you know relationship like jokes with us we didn't know when she was gonna come in we didn't know when she was gonna say something and also most of the time she came in it was not really relevant to the conversation unless it was something where she could kind of make a twist on it either like sexually or something to like spit on herself they wouldn't have had conversations in days <laughs> colleen would just enter what's your favorite sex position <laughs> one of the girls in the group chat you know not knowing anything better asked colleen how would you insert a tampon of course colleen responded in the most completely utterly disgusting way possible by showing the incorrect way to insert a tampon and instead placing said tampon in her mouth like some sort of pathetic monster from underneath the bridge. Yeah, because originally one of the members had asked Colleen like, what got my period? How do I put in a tampon? And Colleen sent a video of her like inserting a tampon into her mouth. Oh my god, I remember that video! She sent yeah. it and it was so fucking weird. It was so fucking weird that video she sent. <laughs> <laughs> Never doing that again. Honestly, I'm surprised you didn't start mourning to show the children how sexually frustrated you are. And just in case you want to see a little bit more of what Colleen was like, she actually started leaking alleged information about her ex-husband's dad cheating on his wife. So, you know, she's getting involved in everything. She's got her fingers in every sauce right now. You know what I mean? Well, not right now, but back then. I remember she was the first person that started leaking about Josh's dad allegedly being, like, a cheater, right? She was the one that was starting to tell me all the information behind yeah. the scenes. So she was actively leaking yeah. information about Josh's family to me, which is like the the, the craziest thing about um, all of this was she really was leaking everything to do with. I mean, she constantly said to me about like about me giving her Twitter ideas because she had no time, but she had time to do absolutely you know everything else. You'd never thought that the wholesome Miranda was doing this kind of thing. I mean, you definitely would have. I mean, if you looked at her really, yeah, you, you get that vibe, you know? You just get that vibe with people, you know? Anyone who puts lipstick all over their face and calls children up on stage and tells them to reach into their pants, eh, it's probably probably a good vibe right there to know that someone's a creep, do you know what I mean? <laughs> now, moving on now to Adam's third video he made, which was released yesterday. But basically, the premise of the story is, is since the other tweeny, tweeny group came out and spoke about it on live stream, a lot of people has basically been raiding Adam's Discord, Facebook group, and they're all calling Ballinger's fans. So we had to stop people coming in last night because people were raiding it, calling Ballinger fans, right? But my Discord, I mean, you know, hundreds of people were joining my Discord last night and were harassing and bullying people that were in my Discord. Um, and I got alerted of it because um, very quickly I start getting tagged in things on Discord that are um, threats, um, swatting threats, um, there was many attempted doxings of me from my Brighton address and my address back home in Ireland. Um, and there were countless people doing this last night. And Even after Adam has come out and spoken about his experiences, there are still calling Ballinger fans. How do they exist? Surely they must have been extinct by now. I promise you, if I could take the haters from you and these people who are completely harassing you and put them in my comment section, I would do it within a split second. I haven't seen a calling Ballinger fan on my comment section. If you won, Please comment so I can rip you a new one. But unfortunately, it does go a bit further than hit. So this message was posted into the Discord last night, and it says, We currently have a team getting ready to swap your house. Your address is located, and threats will be sent. Go against Colleen, and this is what will happen to you. Twink. Thank you. <laughs> that was brilliant. That was perfect comedic timing. Colleen Ballinger fans are like a mafia, okay? 
an orchestrated mafia. I mean, just you, listen to the way that DM was written. Go against Colleen and this is what will happen to you, twink. If I could and didn't live so far away, I would brutally m you by slapping you 45 times in your anorexic chest, you fat, ugly bitch. So that was one. And First of all, anorexic and fat. The two complete opposite things. You can see that Colleen Ballinger's fans are very intellectual. But what sort of comment is that to make? That is a threat that's been made against his life by Colleen Ballinger's fans. What kind of fan base are you running over here? What kind of operation is this? Along the lines of, uh, we're going to sh you until you're dead. We are going to um, sh you. We are going to your family. We are going to your brothers. Um, we want you to go on a walk with your dogs so we can keep your dogs. All these different things, right? I mean, um, this is just fucking horrible at this point. It's, it's too dark to put on the channel. What sort of... I mean, what is going on? Threatening his animals. Colin Ballinger fans, you guys are absolute freaks. Seriously, get off the internet. You don't belong here. Like, this is like, essentially a mob. They're actively looking for his addresses. I mean, doesn't that just sound completely insane to you? This bloke is a victim of, well, essentially, allegedly, I want to say, grooming. And this is how a victim speaks out, and this is how they get treated. Being hunted down by Colleen Ballinger's fans. Come off it, will you? She doesn't make a story or a Twitter saying, you know, ease off the hate, ease off the threats. No, she just lets it happen. Which raises the question, did she send them? Is there like a little mafia group called like, maf mafia weenies or something? <laughs> them posting pictures of me in Brighton and trying to locate my address and then furthermore searching the internet for my address back home in Ireland um, and threatening to post it online um, basically as this incentive of if anyone lives close come to Adam and try him, try kill him, try threaten him, try kill his animals, something along the lines and this is all people that have like Colleen Ballinger in their icon or you know uh, something to do with Colleen right or you click on their thing and they follow Colleen or you click on it and their bio is Colleen or whatever and this is all stemming from last night me platforming other members of the weenies um, because again, it's completely changed the conversation. Like, I had to call up, call up the, the police of the North Island and basically give them my address, give them my name, and tell them that, hey, people are threatening to do this. There's a lot of people. They're very worried. They're very aggressive. They're very threatening. You know, I want to let you know that if you get any calls, you know, uh, you don't need to do a wellness check. You don't need to come right and swap my property. There's nothing wrong. Like, these people are, you know, trolling you to try to get to me or whatever. And I didn't realize that in the process of doing that, I was going to have to record what happened with Colleen. So that was the first place, you know, department that I called up. So then they start asking me, why are the fans doing this? Who is Colleen? What has Colleen done to me? What has led to this? When did I post my video? What is my video? And I was on the phone with them for a very long time, having to answer all of their questions. And now, police and now I've had to make two police reports because of Colleen Ballinger's fans. I've had to make a police report about the situation with Colleen Ballinger because of her fans. Yeah, I mean, I'm not surprised. You had to, like, provide all of his details. I mean, when you've got Colleen Ballinger's fans trying to, like, find out where you live, like Geo Geo GeoWizard, definitely alarming you know i mean it's turned from like a fan group to like a, a full-on psycho group like these people are trying to hunt adam down like some sort of bounty hunter what a load of freaks mate what a load of just absolute utter freaks like she obviously knows this is going on she's not she hasn't said anything on the internet but she's obviously there on her phone every day checking all this why hasn't she said anything like, why is she just letting all this happen? I'm gonna show Adam some support. He needs it more than anyone. Fuck you, Colleen Ballinger. And fuck you, Colleen Ballinger's fans. One final message for Colleen Ballinger and her fans. You mad, bro? Uh, yeah. I said, tell me what you mad for. Uh, you mad, bro? Uh.